So action cameras have come a long way since pretty much the early models of the GoPro and now they're pretty much up to Hero 9 now. Uh, but today we're gonna actually be comparing three action cameras just to see which one produces the nicest and cleanest image in low light and a nice clean image around sunset or sunrise. You know, I uh, will throw in the DJI Pocket 2 in this mix. It's not an action camera. Well, you wouldn't really think it's an action camera because it has a mechanical gimbal um, and it's definitely not as durable as these three. But I have the Insta360 uh, 1R. I've got the DJI Osmo Action and the GoPro Hero 9. So comment below which one you think is uh, your favorite, which one produces, you know, your favorite colors as well. And yeah, let's get into the video. So before we get into the video, we obviously need to touch on the specs. So let's get into the specs. The Insta360 ONE-R has a one inch 19 megapixel sensor with a Leica branded lens. Now it's capable of recording up to 5.3K at 30 frames per second in video and has an aperture of f3.2. Now it does take 19 megapixel still images and has a 1.5 inch screen on the back or on the front, it depends because it is completely modular. So that is the great thing about this. You can flip screen forward back you can put the 360 mod and more now the gopro hero 9 is a 1 over 2.3 inch 23.6 megapixel sensor it's capable of recording up to 5k at 30 frames per second you can take 20 megapixel stills it also has an aperture of f 2.8 and has a front facing screen of 1.4 inches and actually a rear facing screen of 2.27 inches so it's the first of the gopro models to have a front and rear facing screen now there are plenty more amazing features in that little beast and it is slightly bigger than your normal gopro body now the Osmo Action is the oldest of the bunch, yet it has that awesome double facing screen. It has a 1 over 2.3 inch 12 megapixel sensor and it has an aperture of f2.8. It's also capable of recording only up to 4K at 60 frames per second, but it's able to take 12 megapixel stills as well. Now it has that front facing screen, like I said, it's 1.4 inches and the back is 2.2 inches. And uh, it is the lightest of the lot here at 134 grams. Now, just before we continue, as always, you may actually wanna display this on a larger screen for optimal viewing, uh, just so you can see which one you think is best. But obviously, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, but uh, obviously comment below which one is your favorite out of these four cameras. Lastly, the DJI Pocket 2 is uh, its obviously not classified as an action camera. It has that mechanical gimbal, like I said, and it's not as durable as these three. But let's have a look at the specs. It's got a new one over 1.7 inch 64 megapixel sensor. It's capable of recording up to 4K 60, has an aperture of 1.8, which obviously means that's gonna be a really decent low light lens because it is the fastest aperture of the four. Now, aperture makes a very big difference when it comes to low light performance. As most of you guys would probably know, some people don't know, but aperture is directly responsible for allowing more light or less light into the sensor. The smaller the f-stop number, so 1.8, the more light you'll get in, as opposed to the 3.2, of the uh, Insta360 1R. Now these are shot in the best resolution of each camera with stability off. Scream my name all night Take your prize Improvise oh. Boy, you run me like a wolf Bring it on really good Every second not so smooth Can't you tell, can't you tell You get us going like you should Bring it on really good Every second not so smooth
Now I brought the highlights back in post and you can see the GoPro Hero 9 handles the highlights the best. So this is highlight retention when at high ISOs, specifically ISO 1600. So once again, the GoPro seems to handle the highlights best in this situation, especially when it's compared to the Insta360ONE-R. When you compare it to the Osmo Action, same again, it is much better highlight retention. But when you compare it to the Pocket 2, it does have better highlight retention, but the Pocket 2 has less grain in the shadows, whereas the GoPro Hero 9 has a little bit more grain. So this is the big one with the ISO levels tested in the controlled studio at various ISOs. So what do you guys think so far? Comment below which one is your favorite. Is it the Insta360ONE-R with that beautiful one inch sensor? Is it the Osmo Action? It is old school, but it still can perform quite well. Is it the brand new Hero 9? All depends on what kind of system you like, or is it the trusty uh, DJI Pocket 2? Which one do you think? Comment below back into the video. So this is the difference between the color science of all these cameras when set to 5,000 Kelvin.
So this is the color difference when you set the white balance to auto, and this is at 60 frames per second slow motion. So in my opinion, an Insta 360 1R has a too much digital sharpness, it just looks over fake, whereas I've turned down the GoPro Hero 9 to sharpness level low, and it looks much more natural and much more pleasing than the Insta 360 1R. DJI Osmo Action and DJI Pocket 2 definitely work really well, and the overall sharpness on them too are actually quite decent. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already haven't. And guys, if you wanna see more of these videos, comment below. I'd really like to know. I did have a lot of people asking me to do more comparison videos. You know, I really love doing them because I get to test the cameras in a whole bunch of different scenarios and then report back to you guys to see which one is the best. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.